Hey everybody, it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we have a very beautiful fish to have in the tank. They can catch anyone's eye. Today we're learning all about the Purple Queen Antheas. Prices on them, they can be pretty expensive to get. You usually have to spend about $60 just to get one of these. And usually you need a school of them just to do well in the tank. So it can be a very expensive fish to have in your aquarium. Tank size, I'd recommend at least a 75 gallon. I've seen some that will put them in some smaller reef tanks, but I'm telling you, get a bigger tank and it will really help these guys be more comfortable in the tank. Care level, I definitely say they're on that expert level to take care of. There's some very specific things you have to do in order to keep these guys very happy and that way they don't perish throughout their life. Reef compatibility, yes, it is a great reef fish to have. I usually try to recommend people to put them in great old reef tanks because that's where they really thrive. Temperature, keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Levels are basic there, but what you really want to watch out for is your actual levels of the tank. You want to make sure they stay pristine because any kind of spikes that would happen with your ammonia, your nitrates, even salinity, it can really hurt this fish. And antheas are usually the first ones to go whenever something crashes in your tank. So make sure you're doing your water changes. Make sure you're keeping up with your levels. That way that doesn't happen. Max size. So surprisingly enough, in the wild, they can get up to six inches long. So it's a pretty large antheas in the tank setting. Probably won't see them get that big, about four inches. Three to four inches is usually the length of an adult male in the tank. Colors, of course, is that bright purple. It is like literally LED lights in the tank. They are super bright, very pretty with yellow fins on them. Now the males will actually be much brighter and prettier than the females. They usually have taller and longer streamers. On the back of their fins and a really tall top fin that'll help you distinguish hey that is the male over there and a lot of times the males tend to have a pointier nose you'll see that the females have more of a rounded face diet so they are a carnivore antheas have a very fast metabolism but have really small stomachs so it's usually best to feed them small portions multiple times a day Usually you have to feed an antheas three times at least during the day to keep them very full and keep them very happy. The main problem with this is they swim constantly throughout the day. So they spend up a lot of their energy. So they need that constant feeding throughout the day. That way they're keeping their bellies full as they're just being little hyper fish swimming around in the tank. So make sure you have a variety of food ready. You want mysis, brine, even some high quality flake food is always good to have. And just try to figure out what they like. So it usually it's pretty hard to feed a fish three times a day when you're at work. So find a flake or a pellet that they like to eat. And you can get them to feed on that during the day with like an automatic fish feeder. And then whenever you're at home in the afternoon, feed them something really good like those frozen cubes, that mysis and brine shrimp. Those are really good to feed them. They also have some that are actually have vitamins in them, so make sure to get those. It'll really help their health. Another great thing about taking care of antheas is you can actually have copepods, and they love to eat those. They're just live, tiny, small crustaceans you could raise and breed in your tank, and they can eat on those throughout the day when you're not at home. You can also buy bottles of copepods to pour into the tank. Little tigger pods are real popular when everybody gets, so you can put those in the tank as well and it can really help them thrive in the tank. That way they have those to eat on throughout the day whenever you're not at home. Now, fun fact, antheas are hermaphrodites, so basically meaning the male was to perish. One of the females would actually morph into the male, and this even includes their colors will change and their body shape will change, so you can actually see that female turn into a more prettier one to be the male of the group of fish. So it's a really fun thing to watch. Compatibility. So it is best to have only one male with multiple females in the tank. They do well with other peaceful fish. They will not do good with fish that are a bully. So make sure not to put them with anything that's too aggressive. 
puffers, trigger fish, groupers, things like that that'll chase them. You definitely don't want to mix them with that. Mix them with very peaceful fish, like some tangs, you know, your clownfish, gobies, wrasse, things like that are in a peaceful reef aquarium, and it'll really help them thrive. I've seen some people can take care of pairs if they have a male and a female, but I'm going to be honest, you really need one male and at least three females, and that's when they'll actually do really good together. So a good group, a good school of them, and they will be really happy. Having multiple males in a tank usually leads to very aggressive fights over territory, so you definitely want to make sure you only have one male in the tank. Origin, so most of these are coming from Australia along the Great Barrier Reef. Now they're best kept in a well-aged reef tank, something that's old, you know, at least a year old, that's thriving and doing really well. You want lots of live rock because they tend to swim out in the open, but will need those overhangings and caves to hide in during the day and night. Whenever they get scared, they usually dart towards the rocks to hide, and at night they'll find little crevices to sleep in. So make sure you have plenty of rock in there for them to swim throughout, but they will usually be an out-in-the-open swimmer. They like a very high current tank. You'll see them swim very hard into the current where your power heads blow the most. You can see in the video they're right up to the glass because that current hits it real well and they swim real hard in it. And it's also, like we talked about on their food, that metabolism just burns off the food so fast whenever they're swimming so quickly in the tank. So make sure you're feeding them plenty of food. That's everything I have to talk about the Purple Queen Antheus. They are a great fish to have, a very pretty one in your reef tank. Just the hardest thing about them is getting them to eat and also being able to feed them multiple times throughout the day. That way they stay full. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Check out our other ones on the Antheas we have out there or other great reef fish. And I will see you all later. Hey everybody, it's Brock and today's video is sponsored by Dream Team Forever. Make sure to check out our website as we just released the first ever All About Tees that feature 30 fish and inverts from the series. Click the link in the description to get some for you and your family.